What's up guys, we're just minutes away from tip-off between the Orlando Magic and the Portland Trailblazers. And you know what? The Orlando Magic are coming off of a pretty impressive win against the Boston Celtics. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going tonight. And you know what, really this team has been playing well the entire season, except for one blowout, and that was against the Hornets. Now most Magic fans are probably surprised by this two and two start, right? And if the season ended today, guess what? The Magic would be the fifth seed in the playoffs. How crazy is that? With that said, this young Magic team will be facing the two-headed monster of Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. And so obviously they're gonna have to be ready to face this big challenge. Now during the stretch, some veterans on the team have noticed strong play from second year pro Jonathan Isaac. He was great, I mean, throughout, uh, throughout the whole game on the defensive end, he was great. Rebounding the ball, he was very good. Uh, I mean, with his length, you know, his activity, his quickness, I mean, his size, it just gives us such an advantage defensively, you know. I think especially with Aaron, myself, and him out there on the defensive end, is huge. And offensively, he just tried to play the right way. I mean, and he's only like, he's only really played like four games, I mean, this mm -hmm. year. I mean, the last year, you can't really count him because he was in and out. So, you know, it's going to take him some time as he'll, he's only going to get better. So, but I'm really happy for him because I know he had a great summer where he'll pull out of working. Another point of emphasis for this team has been playing defense. Yeah, we know that's the most important thing for our team. And, um, you know, as long as our defense is good every night, um, we have a chance to win against anybody. So the offense, you're going to have your nights when you're not making shots. But uh, as long as our defense is there, we'll, we'll be fine. The Magic are giving up about 106 points per game, which they're going to have to clean up as the season progresses. Back to you. How's Dame able to turn that switch on so fast, just like that in the second half? Oh, you'd probably have to ask him, but he's, you know, he's a special player. He's, uh, you know, I think he does a good job of trying to incorporate uh, his teammates, especially early in the game, but uh, he, has, he has that ability to get by people and he can shoot three, so that's a good combination. Everybody knows how Dame and CJ can bring it every night, but what about Stauskas and, and Curry? Can you talk about their additions and their contributions? Well, along with Evan, you know, the bench the bench has been, uh, after four games, been a big part of our wins. And uh, obviously Nick and Seth provide shooting, a little bit of shot making. Um, I think it's just a good fit. How are you able to turn it on so quickly like that, man, in the second half? I mean, I think in the, in the first half, you know, offense was going how we wanted it to. We were getting places, we were getting shots. Um, but I was also getting two spots. You know, it wasn't like I wasn't able to, to get to spots. You know, I thought I missed some some good looks. I missed a few free throws. You know, didn't have great rhythm to the game. But I knew that I would be able to get to spots. And, you know, over the course of the game, uh, you know, I score. You know, I've been scoring since I came in the league. So, over, you know, the game is so long. At some point, it's going to go in. And, you um, it's going to start, and you know, in the first half, even though I wasn't making shots, I knew that I'd be able to get to him, and you know, that's what happened. In this era of dominant point guards, where would you place yourself? At the top. What are your thoughts on how the season uh, has been like so far? Uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job. We should be 4-0, uh, but we dropped the game at home, and now we're trying to learn from it and, and continue to take advantage of this road trip and uh, protect home court and win as many as you can. Win. So tell me this, you guys lost some key games, and you picked up additional shooting in the likes of Seth Curry and also Nick Stauskas. What has that meant for your team thus far this season? It's meant a lot for us. They, they create spacing opportunities, you know, good decision makers, they know how to play basketball and understand how to contribute, but not just scoring, but facilitating, get to the right spots, creating uh, spacing, which creates driving angles. So, uh, I think they've been great additions and will continue to get more comfortable. We have this era of dominant point guards and great backcourts with, you know, Steph and Clay, John Wall and Bradley Beal, you and Dame. Where would you say that you guys rank, you and Dame? I like us against anybody. I think there's a lot of talent out there, but um, to be competitive, to be the, one of the best in this league, you have to have that mentality. And I think that's the mentality every guard has. What makes you guys so unique, you and Dame specifically? Um, we're able to do a lot of different things, you know, shooting off dribble, shooting around the basket, finishing, seeing the floor, just creating advantages for not only ourselves but other people.